have 60 electric buses, battery electric buses right now. So we have that experience. Uh, and now it's about how, what does the evolution of that product look like for us and then the environmental conditions that we have here in Edmonton. We think that the hydrogen electric bus is that next step for us. And what we've learned in the last two years is, you know, when cold temperatures come out, obviously that, that range degradation you'll see on, on a battery, any battery that you have, you know, everybody knows cold impacts batteries. You know, we're working through a lot of that with our, our, our other buses, our battery electric buses, but uh, we're seeing that this, these vehicles with the hydrogen side of it don't have that same impact from the weather conditions when it gets down to about minus 20, minus 25 here in Edmonton, which it does quite frequently. Um, you know, we're, we're looking for that bus that can really be a bus as a bus as a bus. I want that bus to go out the door and be able to do whatever a diesel bus does. So we're looking for that same thing in our battery electric fleet. And obviously as we grow our fleet into this hydrogen sector, we want that to be that way as well. Specifically because we're looking to schedule our services from the customer perspective, not from where I have to fuel up at a point in time. What we're going through this winter is testing this bus that we're sitting on with, uh, with the winter conditions that we have here in Edmonton. You know, looking at the cold weather, looking at range tests for ourselves as we explore all of that. Uh, so far, so good. You know, we have really are really comfortable with what we've seen so far. You know, it's the batteries that really we are looking at and testing right now. So we're pretty excited about what we're seeing and, and really excited about what the future holds for, for hydrogen in, in uh, Edmonton. When you're the first in the field, it's, it's, it's the pay to play scenario, I always say. You know, we gotta pay a little bit to play in the space. As the industry grows, we show that demand and then the production of hydrogen gets more vast, the prices of hydrogen costs go down. As far as the bus goes itself, you know, they're about 30% less to maintain because there's no moving parts on it. And when you look at the, the fueling side of it, right now it's expensive. So when you look at hydrogen, hydrogen on the market is, is, is more pricey than diesel. So obviously you're paying to play in that space a little bit, but we know that in two to three years, that price of, of hydrogen is gonna come down below the cost of diesel. And certainly the prices of electricity aren't going that way. It's the kind of catalyst to building the hydrogen economy for the, the city of Edmonton. So we're interested in supporting the growth of this sector in Edmonton, the Edmonton region. And really this bus is that first foray into what hydrogen means for the city of Edmonton and the region around us. We're just really excited about being part of this hydrogen economy. I think, you know, the hydrogen economy and building that here in Alberta and positioning Edmonton as a global distributor of hydrogen in the world. Oh, it's absolutely important that Edmonton and Edmonton region is leading in uh, hydrogen production and distribution and, uh, and being a supplier of choice uh, for the world uh, because uh, we have the know-how, we have the expertise, we have the uh, uh, natural resources. Uh, uh, very competitive uh, prices, uh, taxes are very competitive, incentives are there from um, federal and provincial governments and we are working together as a region, 14 municipalities, all of us on a common ground and a common, common mission and we are very ambitious. People have uh, gotten behind the idea and the reason being is that we're not only seeing the demand side and like with buses but also the production side so there's a great economic opportunity it's been very well received by the public absolutely we have a sense of urgency and i i think any energy transition is energy change and any change requires a, a good change management strategy and part of a ma management strategy is to get create that sense of urgency that's a bit of what the hydrogen bus does. It, it, it shows people that uh, we're using it. We see this as, um, uh, you know, a lot of people say a marathon, not a sprint, but we see this as a sprint, not a marathon. Right now, we're uniquely positioned to be out in front of that sprint, you know, and we don't want to lose our position in that. You know, part of that, though, is, is partnering with all of our partners around our region. So whether it's private sector, public sector, you know, the one thing that, you know, notoriously cities haven't been good at is, is those kinds of partnerships. But I think with the Hydrogen Hub, the work that they're doing, these partnerships that they're creating, with us um, is, is unique, uh, but certainly is showing that, that cities can be nimble, they can look at new technology, they can change that way in, in, a, in a pretty rapid way.